Hey guys, probably back another episode of All Guys and All Games. See that right up there? Well, we are playing Motocross today. And I don't know if this is a great game for a high score challenge, frankly. But uh, it's a time-based game, racing games, very similar to auto racing in some aspects. Uh, different in other aspects as well. I don't know if it's quite as strong as auto racing was. But uh, anyway, I've actually got the Intellivision Inc. version. I don't have the Mattel version. I better see the Intellivision Collector who picks that right up. But anyway, this game was started by Rick Levine back in 81, right after he finished up PBA Bowling. Um, but he left the scene and ended up going someplace else. Then later on went on to do uh, trucking and microsurgeon for a magic. But anyway, mo Motocross was with Mattel at that point for quite a while. I'm finished till it was picked up by Rick Koenig. Uh, in about 82, 83, it was for an 83 release. So happy belated birthday to Rick Koenig as well. His birthday was last week. Uh, and also, um, let's see, the sounds were done by Mark Urbanic and about the only thing left from the original Rick Levine version are the graphics. So the graphics from Rick uh, were left in the game. But anyway, uh, ramble, ramble, ramble. Let's get on to the gameplay. This isn't one that I had as a kid. It's not one that I ever played. And I don't know that it's one that I'm going to play a whole lot in the future either. But we're going to play a little bit here and now. Um... Very, very rough. Uh, there's actually two different methods of steering, just like in auto racing, actually, only you can actually pick here. Directional or left, right. And um, I don't know which is easier, like with uh, the directional for me is easier in auto racing, but I don't know if it is here. I'll probably play directional. If you want. Anyway, let's get on and play uh, motocross. All right, here we are, motocross on the ultimate flashback. Let's start her up. There it is, copyright 1982, although it was released in 83, it started in 81, and hit 82 right in the middle, I don't know, it doesn't really matter, it was one of the original Mattel games, one of the very last Mattel games released actually too, so let's go in, we played course number one, which is a big course, there it is, look at that, that's a lot of corners and hills in that one, and where are we going from here, we got three laps we agreed to do. One player, and I am going to use the directional steering. So, not reverse, and it's going to start right up when I hit the button. So, are we ready to go? We are ready to go. Acceleration going. Break a little bit before I hit that. There we go. Acceleration again here. I break around that corner. Well, there we go. Nice. That's pretty good. A little jump. Now, this is a straight stretch, so I'm going to try to get in the middle here and go. There we go. Doesn't drift like auto racing. Does. It's very similar to auto racing, but it's got a lot of differences. Oh, got a little bit too far off. Don't have to get very far off. It, it, it grabs you. It's like they reach out and grab hold, hold of you, even when you don't touch them. That's a weird looking spot there, too. It's just from the hill. That's going to get me. All right, here we go. This is a weird spot because you could, if you jump too far, Get on to the next hill, you crash. Just like I did there. Oh, crashing again. It's been there. Trying to get around that corner without hitting anything. Turn down here. Oh, switch way off. Seems to be going that fast, but it seems to... There it is. To the middle. Right on. Okay. Funny how you almost seem to be sliding too far, and then all of a sudden you cut, and you cut uh, in on the inside. So, uh, inside. Oh, 
go. It's not a bad time for me. I don't want to go too fast in this one or I'll end up with a pocket brush. I'm going to end up with a pocket brush. No, nope, we did it. We got it. See, I went around that corner and all of a sudden it cut me right back into the, into the bushes. I'm way out around, but if I cut too much, it'll cut right into the... It's not getting used to us. Repetitive play solves that. I certainly have not played enough to get to, to understand all those nuances. But I can see when they... I can tell when the, the little things sort of get you. Here, I gotta slow down when I get to the end. Or I can well take you out. But now I can pick up acceleration again once I get under control there. So I'm accelerating now. Sliding off the track. I did that last time too, if you remember, right at the bottom. I did the first one quite well, but the second one got the second corner. Right hand turn. Good there for a jump. Now here. No, I should have I should have kept going there. This is the one that's very good. Breaking. Okay, this one. I don't want to go too far or I'll crash. Oh, so, that's a good corner. Oh, see, it almost like that one reached. I thought I was safe. You know, oh, this is just a second lap. That's a good line right there. Could be able to get down through. And back up. Ah. Like I said, though, it's, see, once you get straightened out, you don't have the same drift that you can see in auto racing. It's really kind of hard. That's a really hard corner there, too. It's the way it leads you in before you so much speed. Wow, that, was, that one went quite well. Oh, come on. Where am I going? And sometimes it seems to me like you're almost faster by going crashing and getting reset in the right direction. Oops. Dude, that was good to a point and then it turned me right around to the middle. Yeah, okay, one more lap. That was the well, same as the first one. Oh, oh not too much. Turn up, turn up, turn up. Sometimes I find it's not the braking you have to do, it's the acceleration. You can to come back around and accelerate to pull yourself off the, the hitting the grass. Okay, here's the, the big straight stretch. Let's see if I can get that. See if I can get both turns this time at the bottom of the street. Second one's gotten me both times so far. Okay, so let's turn it out. Oh no, we got wailed right into there that time. Oh, I did back and way up there. So I can go full acceleration right here. Should be okay. And I still crash going through those ones. This is I got like four hills that, that I'm okay to full accelerate. Two. Then I do. No, that was it. I'm crashed for sure. Yeah. Wailed on the brakes. It didn't matter. But again, I'll get you back out there pretty quick. Don't go too fast over that. That might be too fast. Nope, we're good. Good. I just let off. didn't break, I just let off the acceleration. That time I'm breaking. I'm accelerating. Oh, see, I got by it, and then it still took me out. Just because it's the grass. 
Oh, turn down, please. Nope. Good jump. That was actually pretty good. Around this corner. Hitting the accelerator, hitting the direction. On and off the accelerator a lot. Uh oh. Yeah, I was in trouble there. Three, two, one. That's not bad. I'll take that. For playing it a half dozen times there at the most, the, the last four or five hours. That is good. Right on. Okay. That's my entry. 321. We'll take it from there. Let's get over to the other screen here. Okay. Well, that's it. Uh, motocross. Not a bad game. Not a thrilling game either. It's just a matter of if you could play that. You could probably get really good at it if you just played it a lot. Um, I'm not going to spend that much time playing it to get to that point, but it's fun to throw in every once in a while. So would that take me five and a half minutes for a game? I think that's the longest track. Uh, I can see where it'd be kind of fun. Two players too. two players who kind of uh, had a good feel of what they were doing would be, would be very good as well. But anyway, guys, that's motocross. Uh, probably won't come out a whole lot more times, but I'll have to get a copy of the Mattel version for my collection for sure. Don't forget to watch the Astro Smash Mondays, uh, Every Monday night at seven o'clock cent, uh, no seven o'clock Eastern time on DJC Game Studios. It's myself and Jeff from Go Game Go and DJC and Casey, the Intellivision Gamer, is joining us now. Uh, and yeah, we just talk about everything to do with the uh, original 125 as well as the Television Homebrew, and just have a lot of fun in the chat. And the High Score Challenge is chosen from four games by the chat each week for the game for us to play. So this week it was motocross. I don't know if it could be better. I don't know. It could be worse as well. So anyway, guys, thanks a lot for spending a little bit of time with me here today in Old Guys and Old Games. And we will see you in the next episode. You take Papa care. P, Papa P, the old ass gamer. P, Papa P, the old ass gamer. If you haven't grown up by the age of... I'm Rick Levine, programmer of television games, microsurgeon, PBA bowling, and trucking. And you're watching Papa Pete, the old guy gamer. What the hell?